Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Brooke and I make lifestyle videos. So welcome back to the France vlogs. If this is the first one you're seeing, you're gonna wanna head over to my channel. I have tons of great content. I've been filming for you guys the entire time we've been in France. So today it is about 7 a.m. and we are about to head off on another day trip. We are heading back over to Normandy and today we are visiting Mont Saint Michel which is this really incredible abbey on top of this small island. It took centuries to build, and what makes it really unique is that depending on the time of day, sometimes it's an island and sometimes it's not. So sometimes, depending on the hour of the day, the tide comes in and it's completely surrounded by water, and then later in the day, the water completely subsides and you can walk completely around the entire island. So it's a really unique place, so much history, and I'm so excited to bring you guys along. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get into it. just arrived at the Mont Saint Michel and right now there is a huge line to get a tram over there um, so we've just decided that we are going to walk I think it's quite a trek but um, we've been walking all around Paris and I feel like we can do it you can buy your tickets right here next to the shuttle there's a building where you can buy your tickets it is 6.7 euros per adult. Okay, so we just left the ticket center and I found out some really helpful information that I want to share with you guys. So adult tickets are 6.7 euros a person. And then the parking, there is parking on site. However, you do have to pay for that. I'm not sure how much that is because we got dropped off. And then it is a bit of a, a walk over to the actual island. So you can take free little trams that come every five minutes but the line is huge so we have chosen to walk so walking it's going to take 30 to 40 minutes to get over there you do not need a ticket to get onto the island and walk around the city but you do need a ticket to go up to the abbey or the like cathedral area at the top of the mountain so you can either buy tickets here or you can buy tickets online or when you first enter the city there's another place that you can buy tickets there so you have a few options however the one thing with the tickets is that you have to pick a 30 minute time slot. The time slot is just to enter. You can spend as much time there as you want to, but you kind of need to know how long you plan on spending around the other, the city and exploring the island or how long you want to spend afterwards so you know when to make the time slot. So we've decided that we're actually gonna head over there, kind of get a lay of the land and figure out when we want to go up and then we're gonna book our tickets online when we get up there. So that's the plan. And now we're gonna start our half hour to 40 minute walk over to the, uh, the island. So here we are walking there. There are two paths and way in the background there behind these trees, you can see it. Here's what the trams look like, but all of us are here taking the hike, the scenic route. <laughs> all right, we are almost here on the sides i don't know if you can really tell but you're starting to be able to see the sand so the water is starting to um, pull back a little bit and we're getting low tide so now just a couple more minutes and we're gonna enter the city
Okay, we are going to enter the Abbey. We just got past security. They checked our COVID tests. And now we are on our way up to go buy our tickets. So we just got our ticket and something I noticed is that it's 11 euros if you buy it here. So if you buy it at the bottom, it's actually cheaper. So we just entered and this is the least crowded. This is honestly what we were hoping that the entire island would be like. But unfortunately it's not, but we're really enjoying the bit of personal space we're enjoying up here. <laughs> So we just got to the top and here's the bridge that we walked in on and you can see over here how the water has completely pulled back and people are actually walking over there. In a couple more hours that's all going to be underwater. So we just got out to this really beautiful courtyard and this is at the top. Look at this incredible view. Here's my amazing photographer. He just got a bomb photo of me. Really appreciate him. I act like I don't know him. Just, just met him. These are two gigantic chimneys. Santa Claus has no trouble delivering gifts to this town. Oh my gosh, this is huge. So we just got outside and this is the little garden area. Everywhere just has such beautiful views because the closest town to here is quite quite a ways away. This island has a lot of seagulls too. All right, you guys can see how far those people have walked out just to show you how much or how far back the water goes. And in just a couple hours, it's going to come all the way back up. So I don't know how long they're going to stay out there, but they better hurry back. So if possible, come before lunch. This is even the line for people without tickets. We had less than, an, I'd say, an eight minute wait when we came like 40 minutes ago. So before lunch is the time to do it. So I was watching some documentaries and it was saying that this right here is how they used to pull all of the stones up. Now they have like a pulley system, which looks a lot easier. So this island first started being constructed in the first century in 708. Over its lifetime, it has served as a monastery. It has served as a prison. Following some pathways, we have made our way to the beach area. We've been wondering how all the pups were so muddy. <laughs> we have found it. So we just stumbled across this little restaurant. It has a little outside area and inside area. Super cute. And we just got ourselves some cider. I got a regular cider and Darren got cider rosé. We were not expecting um, quite a large bottle, but here we are. Cheers. So while I wait for our food, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of history. So the Mont Saint Michel dates back to the first century. Construction was first started here in 708 when a bishop was visited by the archangel Saint Michael, and he wanted him to build a sanctuary in his honor. So that's exactly what happened. It took centuries to actually complete, and 
it's also really historically significant because this is one of the first places or one of the few places that was never overtaken. So all of the walls are very, very thick and they were built to withstand cannons. And this really came in handy during the Hundred Years War and they were not able to be conquered. Part of it was because of the thick cannon walls and another part was because the water comes in and out. So it was difficult for uh, the invading troops to be able to advance or set up shop. So because of those defenses, um, it was viewed as even uh, more sacred and holy, if you will, so it has also become a pilgrimage site. And our food is here. I'll show you guys. So Darren got oysters and a side of french fries. And I got salmon with potatoes and rice. And it looks like they just kind of did a, a boiled potato and a side salad. A helpful hint when you guys are trying to find somewhere to eat, if you come along the, the sides the outer sides there are restaurant entrances there are additional restaurants out here and um, additional entrances if you try to enter from the main road it's super crowded and most of those restaurants are completely full plus with these ones you get an incredible view it's about 3:10, and we are making our way out see here we are midday now people are able to walk all the way out there all right guys, we have finished our exploration of Le Mont de Saint-Michel and now we are going to head back to Paris. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to head over to my channel and check out all of the other travel videos from our trip to France. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Time.